So you want to hear more about the EKX 12P from EV? This is your chance. So today we're going to be looking at what an EV EKX 12P pulls from the wall and what it's going to give you out front. We've got our kilowatt down here. We've got a dB meter down here. We've got a source here. We're going to go and we're going to do a demonstration right here, right now, out in the middle of nothing. Well, we're by our buildings, but we're away from buildings because we want to give you a, a semi-accurate test where I'm not getting any slapback from the buildings or any kind of interference from walls. We're just going to go test it out and see what it can do. Let's do it. Okay, so we are now just below where it's going to start to enact the limiting, which can go a little bit more, but we want to go to that point. Our kilowatt is showing us... Okay, so somewhere between 75 and 102. Our DB meter. And about one meter. Okay, so on the Electro Voice EKX, this is the 12P. Now it's not the 15, which is gonna give us a little bit more horsepower, but the 12P, and in our test, completely unscientific test, hooked up to an iPad, going in through a line level, so we could have done much better going in through an XR and done some things with it. But our test, we were going somewhere, wattage going into this was somewhere between 75 and 110. Let's give it a little bit of a range like that. So under 125 watts being taken when this is running pretty hard. Then, for the sound pressure coming out, it was registering at somewhere around at 108 dB. As we came into it, we can get up to 100 and, you know, 110 dB, somewhere in that ballpark, but somewhere between 108 and 110 dB on the EKX. Now, at that level, we still had a wonderful, clear sound. We weren't having any kind of distortion issues. And, of course, it was just below where the limiting lights would come on. There's, well, it's not limiting lights. It's actually a little little limiting thing that shows up here on the the LED on the back so it will you know show you that hey you're pushing it and now protection is starting you're not going to damage anything and we're not doing a lot but we're just starting to protect the speaker just a little bit so that means that we could have pushed it harder because it's probably doing and it's my guess my guess my guess it's probably starting to roll off some of the bass frequencies which of course it take more horsepower so it might be rolling things off I'm not sure what kind of magic electro voice does in here I call it hocus pocus anyway so that's our test. What comes out of the wall, about 100 watts are going to need to run this guy pretty heavily. And what's going to come out, you're going to have about that 108, 110 dB in front of it right there, covering a nice large area. This is our test, unscientific, of the Electro Voice EKX12P right here. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, you will. Hmm? <laughs> Subscribe to our YouTube channel, you will. <coughs> <coughs>